you know, in John chapter 14, we have a promise by Jesus before he left this planet. And it says uh, in John 14 verses 1 to 3, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Jesus said that uh, he would come back for a second time. And these words tell us that Jesus is coming for a second time. Why? Because there are people like much who have believed in him. Perhaps we think that she has lived a short life. I mean, a, an old life to a good old age. But I believe that she was just on her prime. Life is short. It doesn't matter when life takes you, even if you live up to 200 years old, it would still be short. Life was not meant to be like this. That's how the Bible puts it. And there is comfort in this book. There is comfort in Jesus. There is comfort in Jesus. Because he said that he is the life and the resurrection. John chapter 13. He is the life and the resurrection. And, uh, and he has hope for us. In the, in the words of uh, 1 Thessalonians, the, the, the words that we, we heard before, chapter 4, <clears throat> it says here, brothers, or I could say sisters, or, or men and women, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep. Who are those who fall asleep? It's like people like Marge. Who have just died. The Bible talks about sleep, death as sleep. What is sleep? That you go into unconsciousness and then you wake up the next morning and sometimes you don't even remember what you have slept through. Personally, when I go to sleep at night, I, I cannot remember anything. And so it's, it's, a, it's a state that you, you're waiting for the next time that you open your eyes. And guess what? It says here in verse 14 that we believe that Jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in Him. And next time she wakes up, it will be when Jesus returns. And God will bring, it says here, Jesus will bring with Him. He will call those who have fallen asleep in Him, it says here. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord, Jesus himself, will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ, like much here today, will rise up first. We'll rise up first. After that, we who are still alive and are left 
will be caught, caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. These words are left for people who have just left, who are coming to farewell. Nah, somebody like Marge, somebody who has just died or fallen asleep according to the word of God. What comfort to know that there is going to be a new life when Jesus comes back again. I believe that Madge believed that. I believe that she would have loved for her whole family to embrace what she knew. That the Lord Jesus is coming again. And those who have fallen asleep in Him will come back to life again. And guess what? You, it won't be the match that you see in the picture there. Although she's, she's got a beautiful smile, hasn't she? And I see that beautiful smile in the family here today. Although I don't think that they, you know, they, they're smiling because their mother or, or, or grandmother has passed away. It's just that that's, that they have, they have mother there or grandmother who's left them that smile. But guess what? According to the, 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 the word of God, in 1 first, first Corinthians chapter 15, there is a more to be said about that beautiful body that she is going to have. Verses 51 to 55 in 1 Corinthians 15, it says here, Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep. Again, the word sleep. We will not all die. But we will all be changed. We will all be changed. It is talking about those who have believed, like Madge has believed in the Lord. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, again, that last trumpet that we heard before, that Jesus is going to, to call out with a loud command, with a loud voice. It says here, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the imperishable must clothe itself with the, imperish with the imperishable, for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where death oh, is, is your victory? Where or oh, death is your sting? It is saying here that when the Lord comes, this body that, has, that is sleeping according to the words of the Bible, that is dead, at that time when Jesus comes, this body that is, is being, you know, is dead and is dying is, and is decaying, that body will come back to life and it is a mystery, it says here. I do not know how it's going to happen. No one knows. Only God knows how that's going to happen. And we will see that beautiful smile again, but guess what? How it's going to be? It's going to be in a wonderful, it says here, immortal body, because at that time, God is going to give our bodies life and life everlasting. That is the promise of God. That is a hope that Madge has. And that hope is secure. Because God said it. Not a human being. God said it. That word is secure. But more than that, in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, 
God is going to do more than just give us a new life. It says here on Revelation 21 verses 1 to 4. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. The first heaven and the first earth? Of course. This old earth that is decaying, that is full of troubles, that, is, that has death in it. It says there that that earth will pass away. And there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautiful, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men and women, and he will live with them. Jesus himself will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. 